everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 create a sim video so today I am continuing my fill the world create a sim project and this time I am now in San Myshuno so San Myshuno has a lot of empty lots in it um, there are 16 empty lots um, because you know most of it is apartments so every apartment is going to get their own family um, so this is the family that lives at 17 Culpepper House, which is in, I believe it's in the Spice Market District, yes. Um, so, and this lot now, so with San Myshuno, um, all of the lots have lot traits because City Living was the pack that lot traits were patched in for. Um, so this lot in particular has the Gremlins trait. Um, so we have a family of two human sims and a cat. Um, and so first up we have Dave Chavez um, and Dave is in the social media career. He has five charisma skill points, three comedy skill points, three cooking skill points, four fitness skill points, and four handiness skill points. So um, I wanted to make sure that both of the humans had handiness skill points because obviously with the gremlins lot trait, if you've seen my big family little house uh, challenge videos you know that having handiness skill is kind of a necessity when you have gremlins who break your stuff every single night so um, but yeah so I wanted to make sure that he had some handiness skill um, and then obviously you know being in the social media career like he's a very charismatic light-hearted kind of guy um, he's you know he works out sometimes and he's got a halfway decent fitness skill going and of course you know He's a, a young guy, so he doesn't have a ton of cooking skill points, but like he, he can put together like a somewhat presentable meal and it hopefully won't burn the house down. So, um, so he lives with his boyfriend whose name is Alex Vance. Um, and Alex is in the detective career. So he is uh, a little bit more serious and logical. Like he doesn't have any of the comedy skills that Dave does. Um, but yeah, so Alex has three charisma skill points, two cooking skill points, three fitness skill points, five handiness skill points, and three logic skill points. So, um, kind of a similar setup, just instead of having comedy, um, he has logic. So they're very similar. Um, they're very much in love and they both have just, you know, they're just getting started in their careers. I think both of them are still at either level one or level two in their careers, so they haven't gotten very far yet, but you know, they've moved to the city in hopes of being able to start their lives together and having like a nice, solid, fresh start and foundation. Um, they are both cat lovers, which is good because they have a pet cat whose name is Tigger, who we'll see a little bit later on in the video. And Tigger is an orange tabby, and as I'm saying this, I don't remember if I've made Tigger a boy or a girl. Because with a name like Tigger, it could kind of go either way, and I really don't remember now if Tigger is a boy or a girl. But uh, in any case, so uh, they have a cat named Tigger. In general, I'll probably do some dogs in households in San Myshuno, like especially like maybe in the penthouses. But in general, I've found that personally when it comes to gameplay, it's much more difficult to have a dog in an apartment than a cat, sort of like real life, because, you know, dogs have to go all the way downstairs outside to go to the bathroom. Um, actually, I don't know. I know that there's a couple of apartments that have like a little balcony area that aren't penthouses. And I wonder if the dogs will go to the bathroom on that balcony or not. Hmm. I may have to check into that because if so, then those houses would probably be good fits for dogs as well. But just in general, I personally get really annoyed with having to take a dog downstairs, at least in The Sims 4. I mean, like in real life, it's not exactly fun either. But at least in The Sims 4, I find it pretty annoying. Um, but yeah, so probably going to be more cats than dogs, um, at least for most of the apartments. Um, but you know, I'm not going to give every single family a cat or something. I just thought that these guys could use, you know, a little, a little furry kitty cat to keep them company. Um, especially because, you know, social media and the detective career both are kind of time consuming, like, because they're both kind of more active. Well, the detective career is an active career and the social media career, while it's not totally an active career, it definitely is more time intensive than you know a rabbit hole career so you know if 
especially if you know Dave is at home and he's you know working away on his computer or whatever you know working on his social media career it might be nice company for him to have Tigger around and then you know when Alex is home from work as a detective you know Dave might not be able to hang out with him all the time you know maybe he has to go off and I don't know take a selfie at the gym or something I mean the social media career if you've ever played through it there are some fun things you have to do there but um, so yeah so I just thought a cat seemed to fit them in their lifestyle uh, the other thing that I did, so for those of you who don't know, when I do make these families, I have a giant spreadsheet in Excel that I use to keep track of everyone. Um, so it has all of the houses, how much they cost, their names and everything, what families live there, and then I have another tab where I go into more detail about each of the families, who's there, how old they are, what their names are, what their career is, what their skills are, their relationships to the other sims in the household. Um, and I do have it color coordinated with the jobs so like I can kind of visually look at it quickly and see like, oh, I'm putting in a lot of sims in the business career because there's a lot of yellow on my spreadsheet. But I've realized that as this has gone on, it's become a little bit more difficult to keep track of that. So I've actually created now a separate um, page on the spreadsheet called job count where I actually went through and manually counted up how many sims I had in each of the jobs so hopefully from this point forward they'll be very balanced um, but yeah so anyways so um, the Chavez family is available right now for download on the Sims 4 gallery you can get to it through either the link in the description box below this video or by searching for the username Mrs. Tomato 1018 or my hashtag Mrs. Tomato 1018 um, so I hope you guys have been like have liked this video and thank you so much for watching um, If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, you can do so down below I put out a new video every single day Monday through Friday So thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye